Rock Weekend. Kirk Emmett from Metallica here with us. How's it going? Good. Things are going really well. You guys, uh, you were on stage a little earlier in the day, and you did something that I thought was pretty gutsy. You premiered a new song on stage. What was it called? Uh, it was called Harvester of Sorrow. It's off our new album, Justice for All. Yeah, it went down really well. I mean, it's always, you're always taking a chance when you play new material when your album isn't out yet, but the fans have been really receptive of, of, the, uh, of the song, and I mean, it's been going down really well. They, they look like they dug it today? Oh yeah, it's, I mean, it was, the song itself is like really slow and, and moving, and it's kind of bouncy, and uh, the, the, the crowd really dug it. I mean, you could tell everyone's like moving to it. I saw the arms up in the air. That was a good sign, I figured. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you can always... Now, now when is the, the new record due out, then? First of August. August. Yeah. And are you guys... I'm guessing that there's going to be a tour after the Monsters of Rock tour for you guys, huh? Yeah, we're going to be flipping over to Europe in September and October, and then after that, we're coming back to the States and doing a headlining tour at the beginning of November. And uh, we're pretty much going to stay the rest of the year in uh, uh, the States touring. We're going to be doing about 120 dates or so. So A, a light schedule. Yeah, <laughs> in other words, yeah. How does it feel for you to be on a tour of this size? It's great. I mean, everything's been going really smoothly. And uh, the bands, all, all the bands have been getting along really well. And things have just been going great. It's... Is there sort of like drag races on the buses on the turnpike or anything? <laughs> uh, nothing like that. It's just uh, in the, in the, uh, the bars at the hotels, you have yeah, this like, huge conglomeration of, of musicians around it. I mean, it's, it's just a lot of fun having you know, all these different bands in a hotel bar at one time and kicking back and you know, having a drink and discussing whatever. It's a lot of fun. All right. We're having fun back here. A lot more music to go. The day ain't over. It's MTV's Monsters of Rock weekend. Don't go anywhere. Try and keep it as open mind as, open mind as possible. And I think over the last couple of years, we've been putting a lot of categories that I think are too limiting for what we try and do, which we're, we're trying to sort of do a lot of different things. We like doing slower, ballad type things. We like doing the fast. So it's like, we have like a certain area where we feel comfortable operating in and I just hate when people try and limit us or limit, you know, what they allow us to do or whatever. So, you know, that's the big, the whole attitude of Metallica. <laughs> This type of tour, you have to wake up like at about 11 o'clock, and you're on stage by 2:30, which yeah. is different. I mean, when you do a regular tour, you get up at about four or five o'clock in the afternoon and just comfortably eat and everything, and just kind of hang out yeah. and get you know practice for a while and do the show stuff like that. This is like a real quick thing. Up at noon, and on stage two hours later, it's like it's it's a, like a weird catch twenty two because if you get too late to sleep and you don't get enough sleep, you feel like beep, you know, during the day and you play less. But if you get a lot of sleep, you know, get ten hours of sleep, which has happened a couple of times, you wake up and you feel like really groggy for the first kind of first couple hours because you've slept so much. So it's like it's a no matter what happens, you lose. On this tour, I've gotten more sleep than I have in the last two years. I'm excited, extra excited about this thing, you know? Every show means so much. You know, it's like, charge, this huge charge. It has to be that way. The kids are expecting that. The kids are expecting so much. And seeing us in two years, they're expecting us to just kill them. Metallica is the best. Why? Because they play the hardest metal there is. Metallica rules. I like it because they're just a bunch of guys having fun. I mean, we don't view ourselves as being much different than the audience. I mean, we just happen to be the guys up on stage, and they just happen to be the people in the audience. And we, I mean, we're musicians, but I'm sure there's a lot of other musicians out there. Uh, and that's something that we've always, always 
took into account that, I mean, we're basically fans too. Mm. If we weren't there on the stage, we'd be there, be there checking out the bands. Yeah. Just put it like this, right. when you see Metallica uh, in the hotel on the day off, they're dressed exactly like when you see them on stage. You know, and I dig that. I say, yeah. you know, they don't go out there, same thing. They're not putting on a show. They're going out there and playing music and doing, just doing this thing. And in a way, they're, they're like my favorite band on the show too, only because it does, it just, it reminds me to, to kind of stay in touch with the street and with what really, where you're really at and not, and not get to showbiz, you know. It might sound a bit arrogant, but Metallica is like a very inward-looking band. You know the kind of performance that come up and go, well, we're doing this for the kids, and we're playing for the people out there, and, you know, rock and roll for the people. It's like, we're like exactly the opposite. We like look more inwards and are more worried about keeping ourselves satisfied and really doing what feels right to us. The last thing Metallica wants to be known as is a, is a, is a band that's, you know, preaching. I mean, we're not, you know, out to say, hey, we're a band with a message. I mean, the topics that that are involved with us are just things that that mean something to us personally. I mean, if you get the message, you know, that's cool, because that's how we think. If you don't get the message, then, you know, well. We try to instill a sense of realism into our music. We don't like sing about love and partying. And Can you picture us playing the music that we do and singing lyrics like, come on baby, come to my pad, we'll have a good time. <laughs> would never change to cater to anyone else's mind. We would always stay the same and have people cater, you know, change for us. And I think that looking back on the last couple of years, the most satisfying thing is that that's really what's happened, you know. I think part of what Metallic is that there's always the, the thing that we can always go in whatever direction we want because we always set the terms ourselves, you know what I mean? So I don't want to sit here and go, we'll never do this, we'll never do that because if it feels right to us, then we're going to do it and we're not going to worry about what other people think of it.